Okay, so now members, let us see this integral. It says integrate root of 1 plus sine x dx. It's a very simple integral, but please, before you proceed, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's called Chakabuzi Bath. If you want to see more integral, the topic as a whole, you can visit the predicts. Always visit the predicts. That's where you're going to find integration, trig, differentiation, and so more. And so on, and so on. So, now, if we have this integral, it says integrate root 1 plus sine x dx. There are many other methods you can apply here. Of course, some people can try to use the formula. It's very okay, but a bit lengthy. But here what I'm going to use, I'm going to try to create a function and its derivative. That's when it's going to be easier to handle. We all, all what you need to know is that whenever you have two terms similar, the difference is the sign. That's always the difference of the squares. And using the first identity, we have known that 1 minus sine squared is always cos squared. We know that when we differentiate the sign, we get a cos. So this is trig, but you're going, I mean this is integration, but you're going to be combining some parts of differentiation and then some parts of trig. So please watch out and see. So let my i be the integral. So what I'm going to first create is, I'm going to create a derivative of sine. How am I going to create a derivative of sine? That is cos I mean. So now I'm going to multiply by 1 minus sine and also 1 minus sine up and down. So this will be now the integral of the root of up I have 1 plus sine x. Now I multiply by the 1 minus sine x so that I can create a difference of the squares. Then up, I mean down. Remember, I multiply by this thing which wasn't there, so to remove it, it's the same as that. But remember, we have here our dx. And then when you look at this, you automatically apply the difference of two squares, as you can every see it there. So now this is going to be integral of the square root of, now here I have 1 minus sine squared x, difference of two squares, the whole over 1 minus sine x dx. But we all know what 1 minus sine squared is. It's going to be cos squared. So the whole of this is cos squared. And so we have a root of cos squared. Anyway, let me not skip that step. Otherwise. Okay, here we have cos squared x. The whole over 1 minus sine sine x dx. And you see this one goes, and then this one will be that's something. So you see that this one is going to be integral. The square root of cos squared is going to be cos x dx over. Now this one is going to be the same as 1 minus sine x and the root. But that root is the same as a half dx. Now I said I've created a function and this derivative when differentiate this. You get this, but we, of course, by multiplying with the negative first. So now, after creating a function and derivative, we use the lettings. I think, you know, we are going to let, we are going to, have to change what we call change of variables. So, I'm going to say from here, I will say, let u be the whole of this. Because when I differentiate this, that's when I get this. So from there, I say, let u, so my integral, of course, here, I say, I will say, let u, let this u be 1 minus sine x. Then after changing variable, we also change the command. So I say this, I get the u. And if say this, I get negative cos x dx. This negative is coming about because this one is having already a negative coefficient. But on the sign, we get cos, then this negative comes there. But when I look here, you see that I have cos x dx. So I make it the subject. So now this will be my du with the negative is equal to cos x dx. Now, meaning from my integral, which is equal to integral of cos x dx over root of 1 minus sine x. Or we can write it as a half. If you don't write this, you can write the root. So we have seen that the all of this is the u. So now I can every apply it here. This will be now the integral of cos x dx is negative du over the whole of this 1 minus u is, I mean 1 minus sine, 
1 minus sine x is u. But remember, we have our half there as this square root there. So now I can take it up. I have now a negative out. Then I have u power negative a half du, which I can every integrate with is. So this would be negative. We increase the power divided by the new power. So this will be now giving me, when I add one here, I'll be having negative half plus one, which is a half. Divide by a half, which will give me two, then u power a half, then plus a constant of integration. Now we have negative two. Now what is our u? Our u is here as one minus sine x. Remember, they're always having a half, then plus a constant of integration. And that will be the integral of root of 1 plus sine x dx. So that's how we handle that. So that's the idea. Of course, it was just to create a function as the derivative. So that's it, members. I wish you well. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and for more notifications we'll be receiving there. So visit the playlists and see more. See you soon.